Greetings, performance reviews where I give the review from the technician's point of view. And today, well, we're in my garage and I have a Silent Master 900. So this is one of the most powerful central vacuums on the market today in 2024. It's made by Modern Day or MD Manufacturing and it has the Silent Master name on it, which is something they started putting on their machines to indicate they were quieter than the rest. And they were introduced with the Stealth Nozzle made by Lindhouse, which was very quiet. But today I want to talk about, well, I want to talk about this unit and this is, this is the 30 amp 110 volt unit. And I'm just going to start off and show the plug. This is a wildly large plug on here. Um, like all central vacuums, it requires its own circuit. Uh, but this one is a little bit more serious. Now, You'll notice I don't have any mufflers hooked up to this right now. It really doesn't need it. I can't really hear this in the house. And this is probably five to seven meters away from uh, the closest inside wall where the door is. And again, you just can't hear it. Uh, literally my washing machine is much louder than this is in the house. All right, we're in my living room and you can probably hear the dishwasher and dogs in the background. Let's go ahead and turn it on. As you can see, really the loudest thing is the air whooshing. That's kind of cool, you know, so the name does kind of stand. It is silent or quiet, and I think that's just the tone of motors they use. In this review, we're gonna go kind of in depth and talk about what's inside here. We're gonna talk about kind of the pros and cons, because there are a couple cons with this, uh, particularly when we're talk about this versus its 220 Brethren. For whatever reason, its 220 Brethren seems to work better at high altitude. And I am currently more than a mile above sea level. We are in the high 7,000s to low 8,000s uh, where I'm currently located here. Definitely being stressed in terms of its performance and capabilities. Um, I also have it plumbed in. I did the, the plumbing sow, so that is perfect. There's you know no complaints on this. So it's the ultimate test platform that we have here too. And as you can see, I have the panel right next to it. So the line drop, um, in fact, we have less than a foot of cable between the units. So again, there won't be any line drop. This is really ideal circumstances. They make these out of Bakersfield, California. This is made out of a nice thick metal. Everything is well put together and built like a tank. These are made to last. Their circuit boards typically last forever, which is one of the first things that usually goes in a central vac. This will basically run until the ball bearings fail in the motors. And this is a two motor unit. And that kind of in lies the problem. Formerly, I had a MD 715H in my house, which performed flawlessly, and I really liked it. I really still think that's one of the best units on the market. But I had this laying around in my inventory, and I wanted to see what this was like in my house. Now, granted, I do not have a traditional install in my house. Of course, I have a modern install with a retractable hose in my house, and we have a hybrid install in the basement. So... We're only servicing two outlets in this house, which means this should be maximum in terms of power. Again, best case scenario. And you're going to see here, the numbers are not what you think they're going to be for this. Despite this being 900 air watts, my working vacuum at the end of my hose is still only about 60 inches, which means not only are we losing some, but this is so oversized for this house that it's really just not being utilized. Uh, spoiler alert, after this review, this unit is going back in its box and is going to go to a proper household because it just doesn't belong in my small house currently. Let's go ahead and see what the numbers are on this unit. I have it directly connected, so this is where the numbers should be the best. And I have my working vacuum gauge. So the fact that this unit is getting uh, about 95 to 90 inches of working vacuum at this is very, very good. Again, we strive for over 50 in the industry. So very, very good. This is getting 110 inches sealed. And that is kind of the problem. Because as you see on MD's website, this unit is rated for much higher than that. And that is a problem with our altitude where we're at. And all these motors seem to function differently. I used to tell people when we're at altitude that these were 40% less or 30% less. But I've come to realize it just varies greatly depending on the motor and impeller design and even the type of ball bearings in the motor. So there's not a great strict formula of which ones work better at high altitudes. 
the 8.4 inch motor seems to perform the best, uh, followed by some of the other 220 options out there. But this particular unit just doesn't perform as well as my 715H did. And it doesn't actually perform as well as the Silent Master 650T at this altitude. So that's just something to know. This really would be better served closer to sea level and in a house that's really large with maybe seven, 10 traditional outlets or multiple retractable hoses. And I have put these in larger houses before and they, they do perform very well there. But in my particular installation, this is not the ideal unit. And this is an example of oversizing uh, too much. But I believe what is going on here is that these motors can't actually spin up properly because it's too restricted through the retractable hose. So that could cause motor problems potentially in the future. I have seen that before in installations. Now, 60 inches of working vacuum, give or take, depending on what bends we have in the hose, but it goes a little bit above 60, goes up to like 65, uh, and then as low as like 58. So there about, that's what you're getting. You notice the seal is much better. This thing never actually seals very good in the MDs. That's something I've noticed over the years. I find it never makes a great fit um, where the end of the hose usually has a little bit stronger or the valve in the wall. So that's something to know. Now, one other touch I want to talk about with the MD is they all come with what we call a utility valve or a garage port, which means you just plug your extra hose in right here. And that's great that that comes with that. A lot of units don't, even some of the more premium units. So that's kind of nice that that comes with that. I really appreciate that. One little, again, quirk about this is you are going to have to reach down and turn the switch on. There's no auto start valve or anything. So. That would be something, again, I'd like to see in the future. As far as I know, no unit comes with an auto start valve, but again, that would be something I'd like to see. I just want to point out a quick quirk. At some point, MD stopped getting just a single switch, and they got some sort of deal on these double switches. And it is normal for half of the switch not to be wired up. The other half is wired up. So that's something to note. A little quirk about the machine. This is a control box for my wireless uh, retractable central vacuum remote. In case you're wondering, that does not come with the MD. One thing I do like is that this mounting bracket mounts to two studs. So it's very solidly on the wall. And if you need to take it off, it just lifts off. Uh, another interesting thing about MD is how you switch the intake from left to right and you should only use one side of that. Um, they have a nice eight gallon bag. It does have a problem when installed with the tractable hose. The other side that's not in use does tend to wiggle open. So just put a little bit of tape over that. That solves that. And then you can see I've gotten, probably got two Milo bags worth of uh, dust in there the past couple of weeks this has been installed. So I've been using this pretty hard and I've been excited to have a central vacuum in my house again. Real quick, I just want to talk about the documentation. They have a old school uh, registration card and the manual seems to be universal between them all. And they talk about changing the filters and uh, that's it. There's, there's not much to it. Uh, this manual has no pictures or diagrams and that's kind of the thing with MD. They are no frills. The box that this comes in is plain Jane, like disgustingly plain Jane and this is just a basic unit. One thing I think would be a great improvement with this and so many other central vacuum units would be for the lid to be clear so we could see how full the bag was or even some sort of electronic bag full monitor. Now I know Hyden and Cyclovac have done that in the past, um, but those were pretty unreliable units. So it'd be nice to see this premium unit have those premium features. Anyways. Grant, if you're listening, a deluxe model would be nice. Just saying. Let's go ahead and do a sound test to see what the machine actually sounds like. All right, we've switched to the studio microphone. You're gonna hear the real sound of the machine as it runs. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on in the other room and you're just gonna hear it run in the garage. As usual, the camera's about a meter and a half, two meters away from this.
right, that's what it sounds like if you're in the garage next to it. I already have a video on disassembling an MD, so if you're interested, go check that out. But basically, you take one nut off and one screw out, and the whole thing comes apart. You have easy access to both motors, and the circuit board is very simple to get to. And that's really all there is to this, as simple as that is. Now, I wish there was sound deadening inside this machine like some of the other manufacturers, uh, but for some reason, MD doesn't do that, though it is pretty quiet, as you heard. Now, it may have sounded a little harsh in this review, but I actually quite like this unit, and I very much like MD as a company. I would not hesitate to buy this in an instant. So if you're considering this unit, my first recommendation to you is get the 220 version. It is better uh, in all ways. However, if you have the 30 amp plug or for some reason that this particular uh, power setup appeals to your house, don't hesitate. This is a great unit. Really, its only con is that bag thing I was talking about. Th there's no way of knowing when the bag is full without looking at the unit. Now, personally, what I've done in the past to circumvent that is just every New Year's and 4th of July change the bag, which seems to work for me. But again, every household is different. So keep an eye on that with the calendar. I will say MD stands by their warranty. They offer a good 10 year warranty. That warranty is a huge peace of mind. So again, I wouldn't hesitate to buy this in instance. And if I was giving this a stars, I would probably give this like a four out of five stars or four and a half out of five stars. So again, as many points as I bring up in this review, this is an overall positive review. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. That helps us out a whole lot. And before you leave, don't forget to check out the links in the description below. We have anything from finding your local MD dealer if you want to purchase one of these, to our Discord server where we talk vacuum cleaners all day long, to our other places where we publish stuff. If you're not following us on X, go follow us on X. We post all sorts of cool stuff there as well. Share if you like central vacuums. I'd love to hear from you. If you have a Silent Master, comment which one you have and how long you've had it, because these things do last decades. And have yourself a fantastic day.